What's up everyone? It's a tastemaker and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys my two month update on my Unice Bob. Not too long ago I did review this bob and a lot of you guys really enjoyed that video and I definitely wanted to give you guys an update on the hair and as you guys have been noticing on my channel I have been doing more and more update videos on the hair that I received. I think it's important not to only review the hair when I initially get it, you know, doing the unboxing, showing you guys that whole process, but I also think it's important to update you guys on the hair and let you guys know how the hair has held up and in addition to that show you guys another way to style the unit so just a heads up I did wash this unit and this is what it is looking like now the knots in this unit are bleached this little spot right here for some reason whenever I put foundation on my lace no matter how many times I wash it like sometimes like the foundation like doesn't fully come out or maybe it's just staining the lace because I literally washed this wig three times and I soaked it in hot water so there's like parts of it that don't have any makeup some that does I don't know what that's about but it just happened so this is the unit this is what it is looking like right now I did of course blow dry this hair and then I do also have my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray. Now I have to talk about this spray because I get so many questions about it, but I don't think a lot of people know what this even is or what it does or why I use it. So let me clarify the purpose of this spray. If you guys think like this is just like some type of oil sheen or something that I'm spraying on my hair. This spray is a heat protectant. You should be applying this before you finish your style like before you finish your style this goes on first this is a heat protecting that is going to protect your hair from any damage that may come from the styling tools that we'll be using today I will be using a hot comb in today's video and I will also be using a curling iron now what you guys will notice is that throughout the video I will be spraying each piece while I'm curling it or while I'm pressing it out I will be spraying it so I did already spray the roots for this and I did brush it all through the hair after I blow dried it. And then also before I even blow dry my hair, I do use a blow drying like heat heat like protectant spray type of thing. It's called It's a Tin. It's a keratin leave-in conditioner treatment that also protects the hair from it having any heat damage. So I'm all about protective care when it comes to my units. I will have this link down below if you guys do want to purchase this online. You can order it. As you guys know, a lot of us are quarantined right now. So cer certain stores are open, certain stores are not. Certain states have curfews right now. So if you guys are interested in this product and you do want to purchase it online, I will leave a link down below for you guys also the foundation that I am using because I've also been getting a lot of questions about my foundation the foundation that I use is the same foundation that I use on my face not the exact same bottle but the same shade I do want to point out that it is important to make sure that you use whatever foundation that you already use for your makeup for your lace wigs now it doesn't have to be like I said the same bottle but it does need to be the same color that way it can blend in with the makeup that you have on I know sometimes on camera I look lighter than what I actually am and that's because of the studio lights so sometimes you guys say like oh I'm the same complexion as you but you don't really know that really because of the studio lights it makes me look a lot lighter than I am same thing you guys know with those Instagram and snapchat filters they always make you look lighter I hate hate that honestly and I don't really know what to do about it but the shade that I am using is mahogany and this is the wet n wild foundation this is definitely my holy grail foundation I've been using this foundation for the past couple of years I stopped using my NARS foundation when I found this foundation my NARS all day luminous foundation I definitely love that one I used to get Benars that was the shade that I was in and I absolutely loved that foundation I would get so many questions about it and people will always say like oh man your skin is so nice and it was so funny because I had on a full face of makeup and I thought that was so interesting that people would say like I had nice skin even though I do have nice skin but this foundation made me stop using my NARS foundation so I'm not saying that this is better than NARS because somebody is probably gonna be like girl you tripping but I will say that once I discovered this, I stopped using my NARS foundation. Like, 
completely. And this is literally the only foundation that I really wear. I wear this and I wear the Fenty Beauty foundation and those are the two foundations that I mix together. And Fenty Beauty, I'm in the shade 430. So if you guys want to pick up that shade as well, you guys, I am in the shade 430. I used to think I was in the shade 450 like when it first came out. So I did a review on the 451 and then I, not 451, but 450. And like, it was way too dark for me. And I was noticing, I'm like, dang, why do I look so dark? Like, it, it looks crazy. Like, my other products weren't looking right because the makeup foundation was too dark for me. So yeah, this is what the perimeter now looks like. Today I have on a brown wig cap. This is not the typical, like, um, nude one that most of us wear and we just put foundation on it but even though it is brown I'm still gonna put some foundation on it and only like around the perimeter and let's go ahead and put it on hello hello okay so here's our unit <laughs> why did I say here's our unit but yeah okay I just want to make sure everything aligns properly there's this side. Okay, so it should go something like this. And by the way, Unice is like one of my favorite hair companies to work with because their hair is like always really, really nice. So yeah, this is all of the hair up front. I'm not sure how long this hair is, but I would say this is probably like a 12 inch bob. It's definitely not that long. This is what the lace looks like. Matter of fact, let me zoom you in. So yeah, this is what the lace is looking like so far. There is like a bunch of little hairs everywhere. So let me try to comb all these little hairs back so everything looks a little bit better. Okay. That way you guys can see. But yeah, it looks pretty doggone good. Okay, boom. We haven't put anything down to like even adhere this unit and you guys see how it already looks without me even putting any like got to be glue or anything like that on it. So love that so far about this unit. The last time that I styled this unit, I definitely curled it and I had it off to the side. And I noticed like when you get this unit, it actually comes in a middle part and like these two little pieces are supposed to be on the side. So it's supposed to be like something like this. Like it's, if you go on the website, the website shows this unit to be in a middle part like this. I'm just gonna show you guys how it's styled, but this is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like one of these numbers, but I'm very unconventional and I like to try different things. So I don't style my hair how it comes. So if you see me style my hair and you go on the website and be like, oh, it doesn't look like that. It's because I styled it differently. Because literally in the first video that I did, somebody was like, is this the same wig? Because online it's styled in the middle part. I just thought that question was crazy. I get crazy questions every day, literally. Like I literally had a whole wig tutorial recently and it got like a lot of views. It has like, I think it has like almost 90,000 views and I uploaded it a month ago. So I was happy about that. It's doing very well. But somebody asked me in that video, can I show how I apply the lace? When that whole video is of me applying the lace, I was just like, wow, people are either trolls or just like retarded i don't know and i'll be wondering like are people really this slow but I, I guess you know i can't assume that people know things i'm trying to be better at that because it's very easy for me to get irritated by things like i've noticed that about myself and i try not to let things like bother me you know so typically when i see something that annoys me i just delete it so i don't have to even be bothered with that shit that way I don't have to say anything rude. Because if I leave it there, I'm going to see it again. And I might not be in a good mood at that time. And I might say something I will, I'll regret later. So, so yeah, right now I'm just going to press all of this hair. So that it goes like upwards into a ponytail. Just kind of like molding our hair so that we can train it to go in a certain direction. And it's better to do this before you apply the unit. That way you don't like burn your scalp with the hot comb. So typically when I use my hot comb, I like to use it before I fully apply my wig. So you see how I'm like pulling it away from my scalp so that I'm not like burning my face like trying to get this little piece right here. 
and then I turn so when I go in I go in and I kind of turn the flat iron a little bit so that this lays flat onto the hair so you see what I'm doing turning it it's kind of laying flat on the hair voila that way you have a nice flat look because a lot of people just use this like a comb and just be combing their hair and it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So make sure you comb up and then you let it go flat onto the hair. And then you have to also go through the hair. You don't want to just go on one layer because the top part will be flat but then the middle section will still be like lumpy. So like right here.
Everything I really feel it. Feel it. East Coast feel Say what? West Coast feel it. Uh -huh. Dirty South. Let it dirty, uh -huh. dirty. Can y'all really feel it? I got it. East Coast feel it. Uh -huh. West Coast feel it. Oh boy, I've been watching you like the hole in the sky.
Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I just have like the top half curls real cute. I thought this would be a cute style with this look. I did do this before, like I didn't film the look though and I thought it was really cute. So I was like, I definitely have to redo this look for my YouTube channel. So really I just have like this side. First of all, I'ma zoom all the way in, honey. Cause talk to me nice, okay? Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. Mm, okay. And that's on period. So yeah, this is the finished look. I thought this look was so freaking cute. Like, how cute is this for real? Okay. I thought this look was perfect because it has like these little blonde pieces and I just thought it was really cute like this. Yeah. I absolutely love my hair like this. And as you guys can see, this hair curls very beautifully. The last time that I wore this hair, I definitely curled it as well, but I used like a really big barrel curl. So it was a little more loose than it is today. This isn't really that tight either. I mean, it's typical, but it's like rare that you ever see people do half of half downs with bobs. A lot of people do it with like longer hair, but I wanted to show you guys just a lot of different ways you guys can really work with short hair because I know a lot of us like kind of shy away from like the shorter wigs a lot of us like to go for like inches I'm definitely one of those people like I love my inches but I do want to show the girls out there who do order bobs and maybe you want to save money or maybe you just like bobs but you don't want to wear it in the traditional way that a lot of people wear their hair most people who wear a bob you know they're just gonna go ahead and put it in the middle part or a side part you know and it'd it be straight you know kind of boring but you can definitely put your hair into a cute little half up half down ponytail curl the bottom like I did and I think this particular wig is perfect for this hairstyle because of you know the blonde pieces that I have up top mixed with like the black and it's just like the perfect cute little curls up top and I did use this Conair curling iron I believe this is the one inch curling iron and I bought this at Ulta if I'm not mistaken I'll definitely link this down below if you guys want to purchase this exact same curling iron if I find it I'll link it down below for you guys so that way you guys can get the exact same look that I have using the exact products that I'm using all in all my end all review of this wig is that it's definitely worth looking into I absolutely love this wig I love the hair I love the lace on this unit as well as you guys saw like before I even use my got to be gel or anything it was already melting into my skin like how it's supposed to which is why even now like it looks so natural like I don't want to come too close up because I feel like when you come too close to the light it like blinds things out but you guys can see like how natural like my hair looks like all on the side and I didn't do like you know how most people do like the little swoop like that I didn't want to do that because I feel like when you just leave it like this, it makes it look more natural than it would if I was to like try to slick everything down. So the only thing that I do have is like these two little swoops right here for my ponytail. And I showed you guys how to get all of this looking right. If you guys want your middle section to look nice like how I have mine, just make sure you use the mousse and you wrap everything up. But yeah, using this in the middle section with mousse will definitely help your overall look and have it looking a lot more natural. when you put the band on that way you don't have to worry about like putting baby hairs right here because I already know a lot of people would ended up putting you know some baby hairs right here to like cover up the lace or something like that and for me I try to use the least amount of baby hair as possible unless that's my goal to have like extreme baby hair I just want a lot of it but more than likely I'm just gonna do something really natural looking something plain because you know most of the time people put their hair up in like these you know updos I usually have like these two pieces that they swoop right there so I just try to give myself the most realistic type of style as possible I've never had an issue with you nice hair their hair has always been really good no matter what texture I've chosen whether it be straight body wave curly hair like all of their hair is really good highly recommend them if you haven't tried you nice hair girl where have you been because almost every like big youtuber has tried their hair out almost everyone has good things to say I haven't ever actually heard anybody say anything bad about you nice hair but you definitely have to experience for yourself you know I just like to come on here and show you guys how the hair looks 
what is it doing how it's acting and if it was acting up you can definitely tell like a lot of times when hair isn't going to be any good when you look at it you can tell like oh this hair is going to be a hot mess like you already know before you even style it this hair is just amazing whether it's straight whether it's curled it definitely does hold a curl because I know somebody may ask like but does it hold a curl it does um, I did use some got to be spray as well if you really want your curls to stay like really hold use this like a lot of people use this just to apply their units with but they forget that this is an actual hairspray and you can use it to you know hold your curls so doing that definitely you know keeps your curls intact looking beautiful you guys see what it is and it's so like full and like it's just so nice and bouncy and I feel like curling it also helped it look a little more full as well especially up top because you guys like saw how thin like the top part was even when I did my bun so that's the upside to it so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this update if you guys did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts on this unit how do you feel about the styles that I created with this wig do you like this wig would you try it out let me know down below in the comments section shout out to you nice hair for working with me yet again and sponsoring this video and i'll see all of you guys in my next one bye